Okay, so we're going to talk about what linear interpolation actually is. And I mentioned before that if you had a cumulative frequency diagram like this one here, which corresponds to this table about the height of a tree, there are 150 things in total, you would go across the 75th and you would simply just read off from that segment of the graph what the median height of the tree would actually be. So I've said here that at GCSE we could find the median by drawing a suitable line on a cumulative frequency graph. How could we read off this value exactly using a suitable calculation? So I don't want to just say, oh, it looks like about 0.62. I want to know exactly what it is. Well, the way that we could do this is we could find out the fraction of the way along the line segment using the frequency. So we want to say, how far along this bit here have I moved to go to that bit? And whatever that fraction is between this bit out of this whole group, I want it to be the same fraction for me moving across this bit. I want the movement across to be in the same proportion so that moving this bit is the same fraction as moving this bit of the whole group. So what it's saying here, it says find the fraction of the way along the line segment using the frequencies which is this bit here, and then go this same fraction along the class interval, going this same fraction along the class interval that it's talking about. That's the idea that we're talking about. We're trying to keep this arrow and this red line and this blue arrow and this blue line in the same proportion as each other, so that in theory, we end up at the right spot. Let's actually try it. It's gonna be a little bit easier to see what's happening when we try it. So here is the question that we've got. You'll notice that you need to fill in the cumulative frequency that we've got here. So the cumulative frequency is going to help us figure out uh, where the median is actually going to be. And we're trying to figure out where the median will be. So there are 150 things. So the median is going to be in the 150 divided by tooth position. It's going to be in the 75th position. Now, sometimes you might see the median referred to as Q2, which I will explain later on, um, but you might see it as just median as well. So what it says is draw this line. I always like to draw a line to kind of represent what we're talking about in this section that we've got here. And on the top, you're going to put the frequency up until this interval. Um, and then you're going to put the frequency by the end of this interval. So we're looking for the 75th one. Now the 75th one, if this one is taking up to the first 55 terms, this one is taking up to the 100th, 130th, the 75th one is going to appear inside this group because the first 55 are in the first group. And so the next, um, the next chunk where the 75th one is going to be is somewhere inside this yellow group. And I guess you can see that it's the yellow group because this bar here is corresponding to that yellow group that we're talking about. OK, so the frequencies for this group are just going to be between 55 and 100. So the frequency up until this interval is 55. And by the end of that interval, it goes all the way up to 100. Um, so you can kind of see that on the graph as well. This blue bit on the bar, this is 55, and it's going all the way up to 100. And the item number that we're interested in is the 75th. Usually, it's a good idea to try and put it in like roughly the right space. So I've got this is a gap of like 20, and this is a gap of 25, so it's a bit closer to that side. Then it says, find the height at the start of the interval. So the height at the start of the interval is 0 0.6 and at the end of the interval it's 0 0.65 and I'm looking for the median which I might sometimes write as Q2 which is here. I put a couple of tips. Tip to quickly get the frequency before and after just look at the, for the two cumulative frequencies that surround the item number. So because we're looking for the 75th 75 is in between 55 and 100, so I just put 55 and 100, and then the 75th is there. Other tip is I like to put the units. I didn't even put the units, silly me. So we get 0 0.6 metres and 0 0.65 metres. And the reason that we like to do that is to help us avoid getting the frequencies confused with values of the variables. So I don't want to confuse a frequency with the thing that is being measured. 
So to find out what the median is equal to, I know it is going to be 0 0.6 metres plus something else. So let's think about what's happening. It's going to be this fraction between 55 and 75 out of the whole top bit. So that fraction is going to be, well, the difference between 55 and 75 is 20 out of that whole section is 45 long. Between 55 and 100 is 45 long. So I want to go that fraction of the way along this class width that I've got at the bottom. This class width that I've got at the bottom is between 0 0.6 and 0 0.65, which is 0 0.05. Then all I need to do is just put that in the calculator. So we've got 0 0.6 plus 20 45ths of 0.05, which is 0.6222, which is just going to be 0.62 metres, and I'm just going to say that that's to two decimal places. And it kind of looks like it is at 0.62, doesn't it? It kind of looks like it's in the right place. So let's just remind us about what we've actually done here. This bit of the calculation is where people sometimes get a bit confused. So you have your start value that you're wanting to add on to and you're moving the fraction from the top multiplied by the class width of the bottom and it's all about keeping the frequencies in the right place the best way to see this is to do some practice so we're going to try these two that we've got here so we're going to try and find an estimate of the median for these two that we've got Start off, we're going to need to work out what the cumulative frequency is. So you're going to have 10, I'm going to add on 8 so that we get 18. I'm going to add on 14 so that I get 32. So the median is going to be in the 32 over tooth position, which is the 16th position. So I'm going to try and draw what I did on the previous bit. I'm going to draw that line. Now the 16th one is going to be somewhere inside this group here because this takes you up to 10, this takes you up to 18. So I'm immediately going to put 10th, 18th, and the thing we're interested in is the 16th. I'm going to put it pretty close to the 18th to try and see what's actually visually happening here. And it's inside this group, which is the kilograms of cats. So it's going to be three kilograms to four kilograms. And here is the median. So to find out what the median is going to be, it's going to be the starting value, which is three kilograms, plus the fraction multiplied by the class width. So the fraction in this case is going to be six, the difference between 10 and 16, divided by the whole bit, which is eight. Uh, eight. So the fraction is six over eight of the class width on the bottom between three and four is just one. So let's just type that in. It's going to be 3 plus 6 over 8, obviously multiplied by 1, and we've got 3.75 kilograms. Now that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Because we're saying that this is 6 eighths of the way along this gap, and 6 eighths is 0 0.75, it's 3 quarters. So we're saying that the median should be at 3.75 if it's going to be in the 16th position. Let's try another one. So we're going to do the cumulative frequency. So we go 4, add on the 3 to get 7, add on the 13, and we get 20. So we know that the median is going to be in the 20 over 2. It's going to be in the 10th position. Now let's look for the frequency where 10, the cumulative frequency where 10 would be. Well, it's not in this bit. It's not in this bit. It's in this bit here. It's in between the 7 and the 20. So I'm going to highlight this bit and I'm going to draw out what this is going to look like. So I'm going to draw my line, and it's going between the 7th and the 20th, and I'm looking for the 10th. So the 10th is actually going to be really close down the bottom, and that takes me from 12 seconds all the way up to 14 seconds, and I'm looking here for the median. So the median is going to be, well, it's starting off at 12, so I'm going to add on to 12. Now, the fraction on the top is going to be 7 and 10, which is 3, and this gap is 13. So it's going to be 3 thirteenths 
of the gap along the bottom, and the gap along the bottom here is between 12 and 14, that class width, which is 2. So it's going to be 12 plus 3 thirteenths multiplied by 2. So 12.46, 12 12.46 seconds, and that is to two decimal places. I've gone for two decimal places there. Kind of looks like it's in the right space, right? 10 is close to 7, and much closer than it is to the 20th. And 12.46 is a lot closer to 12 than it is to 14. So it kind of feels like it's in the right place as well. OK, so I think you should review this and we're going to do some practice of these in just a minute. But we're going to keep using this idea again and again and again. So you're going to get lots and lots better at it.